Recognizing Bronsted Lori acids and bases. In this problem, it says which of the following are considered Bronsted Lori uh, bases. So we have to look at these problems and see which one are going to accept protons. So we have to know that it's going to accept protons. When we look at this, A is actually going to be able to get split up and become H plus, and then we're going to have C2, H3, O2 negative, and so it's going to donate. So A is an acid, and we don't want acids. We want, we're looking for bases. SO4, 2 negative, can actually take two protons to become H2SO4. So that is going to be a base. It accepts, it accepts protons. NH4, NH3 can become NH4 positive, so it accepts an electro, it accepts protons, and so C can also be a base. Now HF splits up into H positive and F negative, and that is going to be an acid because it's donating protons. So D is out of our list. And E, H2PO4. Now it could dissociate further into H, H1, HPO4 to negative. But what it's going to do really is going to accept, it can accept another, it can accept another proton and become H3 PO4. So this can be considered a Bronsted Lori base because it can accept protons. So E is also an answer. So B, C, and E are all Bronsted Lori bases because they accept protons.